Hey, all you gear nerds out there. This is going to be an audio test of the Shure SM7B. Uh, we're going to test whether or not you need a Cloudlifter CL1 mic activator when plugging into a Focusrite 2i2 third generation. Cloudlifter CL1. Is it necessary? Some people say you absolutely have to have this device to make this microphone sound good. And so today I'm going to test whether that's true or just total bunk. So what I'm going to do is test the mic at 25% gain, 50 and 75%. And then I'm going to play some guitar also through it at different levels with the cloud lifter and without the cloud lifter. Right now you're listening to me talk uh, with the cloud lifter straight into the focus right into garage band no effects uh just a tiny tiny bit of reverb so here's vocals 25 percent gain with the cloud lifter the wide range frequency response of the sm7b preserves the natural beauty of the sound it captures with its detailed audio profile words may travel far but they always arrive at their destination with quality and clarity intact now we're going to go up to 50 percent gain so this is cloud lifter 50% gain on the channel. The wide range frequency response of the SM7B preserves the natural beauty of the sound it captures. With its detailed audio profile, words may travel far, but they always arrive at their destination with quality and clarity intact. And here's a vocal test with the cloud lifter 75% gain on the channel. The wide range frequency response of the SM7B preserves the natural beauty of the sound it captures. With its detailed audio profile, words may travel far, but they always arrive at their destination with quality and clarity intact. The wide range frequency response of the SM7B preserves the natural beauty of the sound it creates. With its detailed audio Okay, here's test two. Vocals, no cloud lifter. The wide range frequency response of the SM7B preserves the natural beauty of the sound it creates. With its detailed audio profile, words may travel far, but they always arrive at their destination with quality and clarity intact. Now here is a test at 75% gain, no cloud lifter. The wide range frequency response of the SM7B preserves the natural beauty of the sound it captures. With its detailed audio profile, words may travel far, but they always arrive at their destination with quality and clarity intact. Okay. Acoustic guitar with cloud lifter, 25% gain. Here's acoustic guitar with cloud lifter on 50%. Lifter on seventy five per cent. So as you guys can see, really all it's doing is adding uh, about a 20 dB boost to the channels. Without the cloud lifter, you have to crank the gain 75% of the way or more just to get like a decent signal. With the cloud lifter, it sounds best at 50%, maybe a little bit lower. So at a lower channel volume, you can get a really nice sound out of the mic. Does it make that much of a difference on this setup? I don't know, hard to say.
<laughs> I mean, with the cloud lifter at 50%, the guitar sounded really awesome. Um, without it cranked up to 75%, still sounded pretty awesome. Some interfaces have enough gain to boost that up uh, pretty dang loud, and you don't necessarily need it. Is it worth it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace. And...